be sure to go to FlipsideGaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. Do the same with the Grizzly Gentlemen. They're both fantastic deals and help support the show. What is up, Planeswalkers? Theric 6. Back with some more Mench the Gathering Arena. And um, you might notice that uh, the Bulls video came out a little late today. Uh, that's because I'm recording it day of because I had a, um, a general linear models. Uh, my final exam uh, was due on Tuesday. And so I was too tired to record after I finished it. So we're recording this one uh, day of, and we'll also be recording um, tomorrow's Brawl video tonight uh, as well. But today, it is Bolus video day. But this is technically more of a Torrential Gear Hulk uh, video. Now, you might notice I have very few bolts. <laughs> the reason for that essentially is like, I, I really need to fit in a lot of what I call a decent instance. We got, I think, 19? 17? Eh, less than I would want, but still. Uh, we wanted to fit in some good instance. Um, and in doing so, we, we essentially were going to make the deck a little bit more blue focused. Um, while still being relatively black focused. So we, we couldn't have, you know, we, there's essentially no red cards in here other than um, a braid in the side and then uh, the Nikki B stuff. But the, the general idea is still the same. It's a control deck that happens to be running uh, Nicobolus instead of it being a Nicobolus deck that is uh, of control orientation. So we got three Fatal Push, uh, very early removal. Obviously, in general, I still like Blood Chief's Thirst a lot more, uh, but this is an instant, so we can get it back with Torrential Gear Hulk. Uh, the Revolt is not going to be the easiest to hit, uh, however, you know, it is what it is. Two Sensors, this is a nice card that we can either cycle uh, once we get to the late game or early game, we can use it to uh, just essentially get rid of an annoying uh, play that my opponent tries to make. Two Searcher Ashkanta, I still like Searcher Ashkanta. It can build our graveyard for our later game Torrential Gear, Hulk, Gear Hulks, while also allowing us to hit um, the cards that we do need in the moment. We're working to eliminate here. Uh, I've, I've tried to look at a bunch of other Torrential Gear Hulk deck lists from um, uh, higher, higher ranks of play, and a lot of them do seem to be running eliminate over essentially any other two drop removal. So I'm, I'm essentially just trying it out. Uh, I guess it helps a lot against Narset, but I'm not entirely sure why this is the selection. Two Supreme Will uh, essentially is the backups for our Disallows, but what's nice about Supreme Will is that it takes uh, Counter Magic and combines it with something similar to Salon Division. Uh, Salon Division obviously has the potential to be a land, but uh, it allows you to dig deeper, but only can find uh, instants or sorceries, whereas with Supreme Will, sure it can't be a land, but it can be a counter spell. And if we don't need to use it as a counter spell, we can use it to find anything out of the top four. Three disallows. Uh, we counter a spell, activate ability, or trigger ability. All of these are absolutely fantastic. Um, obviously, it's a normal counter spell, but being able to stop a Planeswalker ultimate, uh, being able to... Hello, Ketchups. Being able to, you know, counter the triggered part of um, Hydrocrasis if we just need to bury our opponent in card advantage is very helpful. Three Narsets. It's Narset. She essentially draws us a card and makes us our opponents can't draw cards. What's not to love? Two Extinction Events and two Shadows Verdict. These are our uh, board wipes for this. You might be noticing that I do prefer Languish, but I'm playing Extinction Event here. The reason for that is entirely mana base. While obviously we do have Rastus Contempt here instead of uh, E2 Extinction, uh, I figure I can justify missing on a Contempt on turn four more than I can justify missing on a board wipe on turn, turn four. I could be wrong in my reasoning, but that's, that's my reasoning. For what it's worth, you can also uh, use Extinction Event to get rid of uh, Ulamogs, which are a little bit more present because of the presence of a bunch of nonsense combo decks. Contempt also helps uh, against uh, these these annoying uh, Ulamogs, but more than that, they are just nice exile ways that can gain us some life, which is helpful. Two Nikki B the Ravagers and uh, two Nikki B the Dragon Gods. Essentially the only like main holdovers. I really wanted to, to play four of these and three of these, but I just couldn't, especially considering I did want to play uh, at least one Dark Intimations before it inevitably gets, you know, removed. <laughs> the the two Nikki Bs are fantastic. Obviously they they play against our this deck's version plan on um playing at instant speed, but it is still like at minimum a two for one because of the fact that we force them to discard and uh, we can block uh, to trade or they use another removal spell to kill it. It's just fantastic. And of course, being able to flip it late game is quite nice. Unfortunately, you can't flip it at instant speed, but whatever. Um, Nikki B, Dragon God. It's, it's Dragon God. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Dark Intimations is similar to the Elder Born, except it's all kind of in one package and it doesn't return a thing to your hand. Regardless, um, your opponent has to sack a creature or a planeswalker 
cool. Um, they also discard a card, which is also quite cool. You get to return a creature or planeswalker card from your uh, graveyard to your hand, so we do get to you know rebuy Narsets or you know boluses, maybe rebuy a Torrential Gear Hulk, um, and then when I cast. Just cast, so it's not an ETB, so flipping this isn't going to do this. Uh, when you cast a Bolus Planeswalker spell, exile uh, Dark Intimations, and uh, it enters with an additional counter. It's almost always just going to be hitting uh, Nikki B, the Dragon G, which is pretty helpful because it means that if we minus, four, uh, minus three on him, he's a little bit more likely to survive. Um, obviously, the ability to get to his ultimate a little faster is nice, but that's not the main reason. We then uh, have one Nikki B... God Pharaoh, and uh, we're, we're playing this. I refuse to not play this. I recognize that the deck would technically be better without this card. I don't care. I'm playing the God Pharaoh. Uh, we have th three. Three commit to memories. Commit is really dope because it either allows us to, um, you know, essentially it's like a Teferi Tuck. We get to remove a permanent or we get to remove a spell, which is quite nice. Um, so this acts as a counter spell, or we can say, okay, our opponent is, you know, they're, they're ramping a little bit. They, did, they just played their... Um, Forsaken Monument, we get to put that away, essentially, and say, no, I don't want to deal with your stuff. And then the memory part, we get to gain more of our advantage back. So, you know, while we're uh, one for oneing um, with our opponent, we can finally accrue a little bit more value uh, by memorying. What's cool is that because Commit is an instant, Torrential Gearhulk can see this in the graveyard, choose this to cast, and then we'll be given the option to cast Memory. So we can actually cast Memory off of Torrential Gearhawk, even though Memory is a sorcery. Even further, if we have Narset in play while we have Memory, our opponent will either draw one card if it's our turn, or if we have Narset and then we flash this in from Torrential Gearhawk, we'll be able to have them draw nothing, which is absolutely backbreaking. And then, of course, last but not least, the Torrential Gear Hulk. Um, it has Flash. It's a 5-6. It's a great body. We get to cast an instant without paying its mana cost from our graveyard. It's crisp. This is the mana base. It should be fine. It, it might be overkill, but I'm not sure. This is sideboard. Cling to Dust. Uh, we're using we're using more instants than usual uh, just to make sure we can get uh, maximum benefit out of Gear Hulk. Cling to Dust is our uh, premium graveyard hate here. Uh, obviously, we can just use it with Turns of Gear Hulk uh, in addition, but we can also just, you know, yeet other things out of our graveyard. Thoughtseize is Thoughtseize. Two Aether Gust against the annoying Gruul decks, but also against a lot of the green decks. Um, three Abrade. There's plenty of artifacts uh, going around right now. It's possible that this could just be main deck, uh, main deck material. Three Mystical Disputes because blue is still a thing. And two Essence Extractions. Um, it's an instant that drains things from a creature, and we get to gain three. That's, uh, that's that's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. So let's hop on in. I tried my. I've not played with this deck yet, by the way. Uh, I tried my best to uh, to go through that while being as comprehensive yet concise as possible. Delicious. Kiwi potato. With an extra E. Right, potato doesn't... You need that S for that to be... To have an E, don't you? Wish your girlfriend was... Hot like... It's a yikes of a hand. This is a yikes of a hand. I'm all gonna fudge. This is worse. All right, I'll keep this and be sad about it. I only need one red source, so bye bye. And I think I'm just gonna hope that they're not an aggro deck. Man, the hard mole. I guess I should have just kept that early hand. Alright. Luckily, they do not appear to be an aggro deck. Unluckily, uh, they appear to be a energy deck. Sultai energy, though. So I legitimately do not know what this deck is like. They're gonna thoughtsies me. I wonder if they take the Narset or the Search. Probably on our side, right? Oh, they took the search. All right. That's fine. I don't need to play this just yet. So, let's see if they discard me again. They do. 
Yeah, unfortunately, um, mulliganing to five and then going against a, a deck which turn one or turn two discard, turn three discard, is pretty unfortunate. Not gonna lie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so they're they're playing something real slow. Uh, they're playing, they are technically playing blue. I could have stuck around a little bit longer to to see more of the deck, but I don't think I don't think that I need to, frankly. Um, now this is this is a hardcore control deck. Um, I don't think I need those, or probably even any of those. I might want I might want the Shadows Verdict. So do I want the Cling to Dust? Do I want the Mystical Dispute? Um, I might want the Shadows Verdict still. Because of Uro. All right, Fatal Push. Is Fatal Push better to get rid of? Because I could bring in, like, I could, I could bring in, like, these. I guess I, 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 that, that concession was a little premature. I probably, I probably should have stuck around to get more information. I can see I can see the comments now. Also, yes, I recognize my hair is a mess. Uh, I just got out of the shower. Not just got out of the shower, but I'll keep this. Hey, look, they mulligan this time. I don't think I need to hold up Misco Speed on turn one, but I will hold it up on turn two. My opponent is possibly no nope. cool. And I can uh, cycle a sensor if need be. Let's use. Nah, I'm good. This does mean we might miss her next land drop. Never didn't have it. I do think that we pay life for this. And what we really want is to get to five mana so that we can play Nikki B and hold up Disallow. Isn't the cat? Hi, yes, hi, cat jobs. <sighs> Yo, I could disallow this Fable Passage. Is that worth it? I don't know, but I'm gonna do it. Catch up, you're not supposed to be. Catch up. Yeah, hi, yep. Go lay down. My god. Um, If it was a creature, gain three, otherwise draw a card. This is instant, so I'm just gonna pass. Um, technically speaking, I could have played it now to try and draw. Just imagine if I screwed them again. That'd be glorious. Ketchup, you're not supposed to be under my desk. No, do not go behind my computer, please. Ketchup's here. Come and put in the box. There you go. Be good. Yeah, good ketchup. Sit in the box. Jesus Christ. Um, how about no? I'm just gonna... Do I want to miss... Eh, I'm just gonna miss some speed that, I guess. Because I might end up cycling sensor just to make sure I get a Lond. A Hans Londa. So I'm just going to cast this on the Erasure. Okay, we got a land. So. Um, yeah. My turn. Let's see. Do I want to just play the Ravager here? Darn. I should have I should have thought that through more. I should have used sensor there. I think I am just gonna play the Ravager. Four cards. Ugin. Okay. So I did get a little bit more information. I play a rogue refiner. Is it Salt Time Mar Marvel? It'd be very strange if it were. Just 
I'm going to attack for four. And do I want to play the Watery Grave untapped? I guess I could. I mean, there's five other. I, I definitely could. Is the thing. Mm, no, I don't think that I need to. Burrow. Burrow. I think I'm fine countering this. Question is, do I want to censor? I guess I could cycle to get to more of my deck. I think I'm just going to use Mystical Dispute here. And, and, well, I haven't played with counter spells in forever. But yeah, it looks like this forced them to miss their land drop because I've been I've been mean to their lands. Okay, I will cycle this as well. All right, so we have a gear hulk and we have a land to use the gear hulk. That's pretty lit. Yeah, I just said lit. What are we gonna do about it? Not a damn thing. All right. I would like to remind everyone to like, comment, and subscribe. Very much helps out the show. I'm just going to take the three, that's fine. What? Um, do I want to cling to dust? Let's see. I could keep, what, just Salau in there? I think that's sufficient. Yeah. And I think we want to draw... So I think I'm going to yeet Hogan. We're going to keep in the Disallow. Because frankly, I don't need it. Kasa wouldn't have cared if they countered that. I leave you to your doom. Hey, shut up, Ugin. Did, did I really just get rid of Ugin? I could have grabbed their Ugin. I could have flipped my bolas and grabbed their Ugin. All around me are familiar faces. I am garbage. I am garbage. And I find it kind of funny. I find it kind of sad. I keep playing magic, but I always say I'm bad. I find it hard to tell you. Find it hard to say. I'm bad at this game. Oh no, I took three damage. Do something, coward. I win this race. And yes, I recognize that I could have tried to get Hulk, uh, the Fable Passage, but I don't think I needed to. Do I want to eat the Rogue Refiner? Sure. Look, if they're not going to do anything, I'm going to do something. Delicious. Oh, look, it's a mystical dispute. But technically, cast bolus or er, flip bolus. There's not much to get. Like I, I'd rather I, I have them dead next turn, so I literally might as well just chill. Glimmer of genius. Uh, that's a free counter right there. And I still have enough for gear hulk, baby. Yeah, have your have your tune with Aether. I do not care. Is is this a salt high version of Aetherworks Marvel? Just normal salt high energy? Like I don't get. It. So we're gonna they're gonna cast the the Uro here. 
And I'm gonna counter it because I don't want you gaining any life, bro. GG skis. Uh, I could technically have thought she's there to get the information. They don't wait. They shoot. They didn't know I had thought she's right. No, I don't think they knew that I had thoughts used. I didn't want to give them the information. Although, eh, I was dumb. I should have. I should have thoughts used. Uh, I don't. I don't really know what they're playing. I, I do know they're playing Rogue Refiner now. So I might want the Eliminates back. Do I want to take anything out? Uh, I'm going second, so my sensors aren't as good. I'm going second, so my sensors are not as good. Extinction event hits odds. But would I rather, I think I would rather just have a Shadows Verdict. Do I want to change out my sensors for Eliminate? I don't think so. I'm not sure this deck needs search for us, can't I? Calm down, I said I'm not sure. God, my hair's a mess right now, dude. It's always a mess, uh... Oh, I mean, this is a fantastic hand. It's always a mess after I take a shower. I will keep this. I'll play the water grip on turn one. Ooh. No, I do think I'm just going to thought these. Like, it's a lot of life loss, but... Villas. Alright. <laughs> uh, what? This, ha this has to be a weird marble deck, right? Like, you all have no idea how confused I am right now. Um, I'm going to play this here, I think. Am I? I just play this tap. I don't think they're gonna cast anything I give a dang about. Yeah, I said dang, shut up. Whatever, I do what I want. It, it is Aetherworks Marvel. Okay. Huh. Soulfly Marvel. I feel like I feel like Soulfly Marvel could work. I just like I don't think you play like I think your hits are still meant to be kind of the same stuff. Although I guess you have access to like emergent ultimatum or something. So like in this situation, right? It would be better if one of these were uh, Supreme Will, but they're not. No, I'd rather you didn't. Hell yeah. Do I want to cast this? Do I want to cast this? I don't think I need to. I don't think I'll need to cast commit here. Could be wrong. I don't think I will need to. Yeah, you played a land? You cast a shit. Yeah, you know what? It's fine. I assume they take one of the mystical disputes. They might take a commit. I don't know. But I'm like counterspell cityed up in here. Right, sure. Eh, it's unfortunate I didn't draw land, but eh, what can you do? I'm just sitting on counterspell city. Well, the grass is ringing and the girls are pretty. Oh, won't you please dang how? Do I want to double dispute this? Would I rather double dispute this or commit this? I think I would rather double dispute it, to be honest. No, that was probably wrong. I'm not sure. I, I'm, I'm just not sure. Once again, not hitting a land is pretty unfortunate, but we do have a nice disallow. 
for what I like to call the just in case. Can you cast Villas? Okay. I, I don't know if you could cast Villas. Is it eight? No. I need one more land. Hey, look, that's a land. What do you do again? Whenever you lose a life, draw that many cards. Target creature gets. Yeah, I'm just gonna not let that resolve. Um. But in what way am, am I going to not let that resolve? I guess, you know what? I think I let it resolve and I contempt it. The reason you typically don't... Uh, they could play a land. They could play a land and they'd be able to target the Villas. But I think that's fine. No, okay, they didn't have it. I was worried more about them drawing cards. Um, so here, I think I just do this. Now, notably, you don't really want to cast a, a memory here when our opponent is on, like, no cards. Um, what do I have in my graveyard, though? I could cast the commit. But I think I would rather just cast the disallow. Right? I don't know what the other card is. Yeah, it worked out. Got a Supreme Will, which is actually super helpful. I'm just I'm just chilling on counting spells. resolve. One, two, three, four, five, six. No! Whatever, I'm drunk. Playing this. Never didn't have it. Oh my fucking god, dude. Get slaughtered. <laughs> and that's why you don't ever take out God Pharaoh. Right there. That's why you don't take out God Pharaoh, baby. <laughs> oh, where'd the cat go? Get done. <laughs> oh my god, get de destroyed. Oh, I love, I love that right there, baby. <laughs> oh my god, I'm the bad guy. Oh goodness me, that was, that was too good. That was too good. All right, so let's see. Let's let's talk a little bit about uh, post gameplay feels. Um, it 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 performed surprisingly well. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, it felt good to do things at instant speed again. And, I mean, the, the main thing I feel is, like, I want, I, I think I want to go up to three Supreme Wills. I might want to just chop the Ascanthus? The, the thing is, in the control mirrors, Ascanthus, real crisp. Um, it's possible I can do some work on my metabase so I don't hurt myself as much. But, I'm liking it. Uh, for what it's worth, I do think that we probably shouldn't have Dark Intimations. Yeah, like up supreme will maybe maybe just go to like one search so i thought this was gonna be like a one and done and i was gonna go back to like normal uh 
uh, sorcery speed bolus control. But <laughs> I, I I can't lie, it feels good to play Destiny Speed. Let me know. Let me know what you all think of the deck. Um, let me know what uh, changes you might make. What cards you think I'm uh, missing out by not playing. And uh, let me know how you, how you felt about those sweet stealing of Ulamog, baby. <laughs> oh, goodness. I would love to thank my wonderful patrons, especially Fogwind, Malik, and Balotea for the continued support. If you'd like to join them and support the show, you'll find links in the description below. Um, if if uh, you can't or do not wish to uh, support directly financially, you can always like, comment, subscribe, uh, you know, watch them ads, I guess. I don't, I don't actually know if watching them versus just seeing them matters. I, I legit don't. But yes, uh, man, that was fun. And of course, until next time, I'll be one, which rhymes. Hmm.